Hi, I'm Dr. William Nadera, a board-certified endodontist practicing in Bloomingdale, Illinois. I would like to take a moment to discuss the advantages of orifice opening and how applying this concept to your clinical treatment can significantly increase your predictability when performing root canal procedures. There are three main reasons why orifice opening is so important. First, it removes bulk organic debris from the widest part of the root canal system. Second, it eliminates coronal interferences and significantly reduces midroot interferences. Third, and most important to me, it allows me to maintain control of my working length throughout the procedure. If the orifice is open prior to me establishing true working length, the odds of the working length changing throughout the course of the treatment are minimized, leading to a more accurate treatment. Orifice opening is a preparation limited to the coronal third of the root canal system, and I consider it to be an extension of the excess preparation. Over 90% of the referring doctors I work with perform endodontic treatment in some capacity. Because of that, it is not uncommon for me to have a patient referred where root canal treatment was attempted, but unable to be completed. I will get a phone call, or the referral slip will indicate that the canal was identified, but the clinician got hung up in the coronal third, or at the junctions of the middle and the apical third. This is primarily the result of the clinician becoming limited by something called the dentinal triangle, located at the junction where the canal branches off the pulpal floor and transitions to the canal. This is what needs to be addressed. Elimination of the dentin triangle is the purpose of orifice opening. Gates Glidden instruments are the most commonly used instruments by clinicians to open the orifice. Clinicians like these instruments because they are extremely efficient. Gates Glidden's are run at very high RPMs and they are rigid, which in my opinion makes them aggressive and dangerous. When I was first taught endodontics, I was encouraged to use these instruments and for years I did. Gates Glidden's are available in six sizes. Of those six sizes, Gates 1 is fragile at the tip and prone to breakage. Gates 5 and 6 are ISO size 130 and 150, respectively. Way too aggressive, in my opinion, and should not even be considered as an option. When I use Gates Glidden's, I limit their use to 2 through 4, which is ISO size 70 and 110, respectively. The problem with using Gates Glidden's as orifice openers is that there is no limit to the apical extension the clinician can take these instruments. When taken too far in the root canal system, the clinician needlessly removes too much supporting dentin, which can ultimately lead to fracture promotion. Although there is nothing wrong with the root canal treatment seen here, the effects of the gates Glidden preparation is apparent. The clinician is left with a soda bottle canal preparation. My solution to this issue came with the introduction of the Pro Taper Shaper X file. This file quickly eliminated my need for gates Glidden instruments. The ProTaper Shaper X file is the first file associated with the ProTaper Universal system. Although not actively marketed as an orifice opener, I found that it played a huge role in orifice opening in my hands. Looking at the file, it's 19 millimeters in length, making it easier for me to place in those hard to reach areas. It's 0.19 millimeters at the tip, almost the size of an ISO 20 file, making it easy for me to slide in the coronal portion of the root canal system. The advantage of this file is apparent when looking at the dimensions of the working portion of the file. The body of the file has the following diameters built in. They are equivalent to a gates 1, 2, 3, and 4. The main advantages of this file are its flexibility, size, and the fact that it's governed by the depth of orifice opening. It does not allow unnecessary destruction of midroot dentin. This file has its disadvantages as well. For the inexperienced user, this file can be very dangerous. This file is very fragile in the apical few millimeters and is subject to breakage without warning. If the clinician chooses to use this instrument, caution needs to be exercised. In January of 2013, Vortex orifice openers were introduced into the market. These instruments quickly replaced my SX file as the primary instrument of choice for orifice opening. In order to understand why, let's look at the specifics of this file. Although Vortex orifice openers are available in various tip sizes and tapers, the Vortex orifice opener of choice in my hands is the 20.08. The file is 16 millimeters in length, although a 19 millimeter option is available. The 16 millimeter size allows even better access to more challenging locations. The tip size is 0.20 millimeters, one hundredth of a millimeter greater than the tip of the SX. An insignificant difference in my opinion. The metallurgy of this file is made of M-wire nickel titanium. This makes the file more robust and not as fragile as the ProTaper SX. 
Looking at the file diameters and the working portion of the file, the advantages become clear. The diameter sizes are 0 0.52, 0 0.68, and 0.92, a gate's equivalent 1, 2, and 3. But the most unique feature is the paralleling design at the maximum taper. The file will never allow the clinician to open the orifice beyond an equivalent gates 3. This in turn significantly conserves coronal and midroot dentin. Looking at these files side by side, the differences are obvious. Although there is nothing wrong with the ProTaper Shaper X file, the Vortex Orifice Opener 20.08 offers the clinician significantly more conservative approach when opening the orifice while still accomplishing the same goals.